What's up guys? This is Robin Wakem and welcome to the Back Pain Secret Podcast. Today we're going to talk about why it is important to set boundaries to heal your back pain. So here's the important question. How can back pain sufferers like us who don't want to use prescription drugs or go through surgery heal our back pain? How do we live our daily lives in a way that allows us to go to work, take care of our families, enjoy life and still manage our back pain? That is the question and this podcast will give you the answer. My name is Robin Wakem and welcome to Back Pain Secrets. Today I want to talk about something that I find kind of interesting to me. Monday night I was working late at my physiotherapy clinic on the computer. I've been working as a physiotherapist and back pain specialist for over 20 years now. During the first few years, I was really struggling to get clients to my new clinic. Over the years, my clinic has grown and today I have about 20 physiotherapists that work for me. I still treat clients, but the majority of my time is spent on running the clinic, creating back pain content, online courses, etc. Besides that, I have my beautiful wife, Linda, that I've been together with for over 20 years and our two lovely kids, Kelly and James, that I want to spend time with. Okay. Over the years, as my business has grown and the demands on my time has also increased, I have been forced to create systems to protect my time, which is the most valuable thing we have in our life, at least in my opinion. The only people that have direct access to me and my cell phone number and email address is my family and friends. Everyone else has to go through my assistant first. I implemented this three years back and it has been life changing for me. My productivity has gone up at least 300%. I spend 50% more time with my family and my health is better than ever because I actually have time to work out now. Anyway, back to my story. As I said, I was on my computer and I see this email from a back pain sufferer from London. He wanted to book an appointment with me and only me. He was very clear about this and was more than willing to fly from England, London to Stockholm, Sweden, a three hour flight one way. In total, it was a six hour flight. He informed me he would come whenever I could fit him in and money was not a problem. I leaned back in my chair and thought to myself, this guy, whoever he was, put some work into this. First off, he somehow got a hold of my private email address, which is very hard to do. Second, he was willing to travel six hours to another country just for an examination. Third, he would visit me when I could fit him in. And fourth, he was willing to spend quite a bit of money to get this done. I remember when I first got into this business and I was bootstrapping it. I was working 80 hours a week and in my desperation to get new clients and please everyone, I had exactly zero boundaries for my clients. All my clients had access to me 24 seven and I would treat them whenever they wanted me to. It's really, really crazy if you think about it. Before when everyone had access to me and I was trying to please everyone, my clients did not perceive me as rare or valuable. Now when it's virtually impossible to get direct access to me and I'm not trying to bend over backwards to please the whole world, clients see me as very rare and valuable. During those first few struggling years, I also remember how awful I felt. I was always stressed, felt pain and stiffness in my lower back, radiation down my leg, more or less constantly for two years. I also felt like a big fraud because every day I was treating clients with back pain but could not heal my own back pain. And this went on for two years, guys. It wasn't until I started to set up boundaries in my life for myself and everyone around me that my back pain started to gradually go away. Every week I see clients that on the surface seem to do everything correct to heal their back pain. They exercise every day, they have a standing desk, they are conscious of what they eat, etc. The majority of these patients also feel stress and frustration because they feel like they're doing everything in their power to get rid of their back pain. The missing factor for the majority of these back pain sufferers is they have never set up any boundaries for themselves or for the people around them. Everyone has access to them 24 seven and they are trying to please the whole world. So if you have been suffering from back pain for a long period of time and feel frustrated that not, nothing is working, try setting up some boundaries for yourself and for everyone around you so they don't have access to you 24 seven and also stop trying to please the whole world. Okay. I'm going to end this recording now and hope you have gotten some value from it. I appreciate you guys and guys, remember you're just one step away from healing your back pain. Want more back pain secrets? Then go ahead and get your free copy of my best-selling book, Back Pain Secrets, at backpainsecrets.com. 
inside this book, you will find my top secrets to healing your back pain without prescription drugs or surgery that have helped thousands of other people just like you.